Hi, I'm your host Matthew Moody and today we are doing a deep dive with some of the most well-known property investors out there right now. Yes, we're going to be taking three minutes of intense Q&A with Mark Janssen, Rena Malra and Sam Rafflick. Stay tuned. Hello and a warm, warm welcome back to Property TV. So please do check out our page. We spend a ton of time and energy recording these scintillating videos for you. So somewhere along here, there should be a little subscribe button. So make sure you have subscribed and stay up to date with the top industry headlines and find out what is really going on behind the scenes. So for this very final episode in the current series of Property TV, we decided to do something we've never done before, and that's to ask some of the property experts that we've seen over the last two or three years some hard-hitting questions. Now, we originally envisioned this being a very quick-fire 60-second interview. However, as you will see, it turned into something a little bit longer than that. So we've basically cut it down to about three minutes per person, and you're gonna be seeing some really interesting answers from some of the leading experts out there at the moment in the property and business field. So we're gonna be joined by Mark Janssen, sourcing and deal packaging expert, Rena Malra, lease options and creative deals expert, and finally Sam Rathley, uh, one of the leading LinkedIn experts currently out there. So stay tuned for some really interesting insights and find out the answers to those questions as to who would take face cream, who likes 80s pop music, and who loves their own book the most. Stay tuned and enjoy. You won't have to be the face cream on <laughs> you. I love it. This. One necessity. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> One person. Are you going on your own? Somebody, somebody um, who is as high spirited as I am, because I, I can be pretty crazy and mental, so I'm not too sure who the, whether okay. the person exists or not. All right. One person who's just sat over there, one looks right in my trying to Bonneville, it's got to be a big island. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the other one? One necessity. Bar of soap. Awesome. <laughs> Probably my husband uh, and my kids. Can I not take my kids as well? No. Well, you could have them as a luxury necessity. Okay. Oh, yeah, that'd, yeah, that'd okay. Be um, I think that I would take, well I would take my phone, but I couldn't take my phone because there'd be no internet, would there? So Probably not. No, probably not. Uh, in that case, they have to be, um, I don't know, pass. Okay. <laughs> uh, the four hour a week. Favourite book, Don't Out Your Ground. <laughs> Great book. <laughs> oh, Think and Grow Rich. Awesome, awesome choice. Okay, yeah, I don't watch, no, I don't really watch TV, to be honest with you. Beautiful. Um, uh, uh, Interstellar, I mean, that's his favourite film. Interstellar. Or Apollo oh. 13, another one. Nice. Shawshank Redemption. Beautiful. This is in India. Um, yeah, just um, the world I was brought up in there. That's been my memory. I uh, was uh, walking about my, with my granddad cutting grass with my red willies on and nothing else. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, that would definitely have to be my nan. My nan passed away about uh, about eight years ago now. So my childhood memories are definitely of me and my nan in Kent having fun together wow. and going to Bexhill on Sea and having fun at the seaside. Amazing. I really think the greatest accomplishment it was is to bring up my two boys on my own against fighting with my family who were against me and everything else and it was tough it was really really bad sometimes I sit there and I've tears in my eyes thinking how tough it was that's my greatest that's accomplishment <clears throat> greatest all was helping kids in Zambia with a project um, which took uh, about a year and a half or no nearly two years and it was uh, helping Build a school. I didn't have to build, not build, but help build a school. Help teach them and just play with 120 kids. It was brilliant. Oh, amazing! Uh, so far, my greatest accomplishment, I think, becoming an Amazon best-selling author, and um, yeah, that will probably be one of my major accomplishments. I wrote a book which I was was inspired on a trip that when I went to India, and I'm all about giving back. So I wrote that book to help and give back in uh, in some of the projects that I found. That's, that's a great one. 
<laughs> I'm more of an Indian Bollywood. Sorry, you do a bit of dancing too? Uh, yeah, I love oh, it, yeah. love it. Oh, there are so many videos of me doing oh. dancing. Can't stop me there. Uh, 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 no. Uh, no. You can pass if you <laughs> pass on that okay. one. I'm not a music fan. Music. Oh, I'm such an 80s fan. <laughs> love it. Bring it on. <laughs> So yeah, a very embarrassing, but yes, 80s music is my... 80s music, alright, cool. <laughs> I'm a bit of a Madonna fan. Ah, that's great, Madonna's <laughs> awesome. Uh... Um, no, I don't actually. Okay, cool. Uh, it's actually, it seems to be Facebook. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> um, I'd probably say YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Welcome. Check it out. Cracking the property code. Mega sale on offer right now at 50% off the RRP. Normally £20, just £10 plus £3.95 postage and packaging. Now your property network called this 350 of the best pages you will ever read in property and it is indeed a playbook for any property investor. So whether you're just getting started or you're already in property, this book will help you accelerate your property journey. So if you don't know what strategy to choose, this takes you through the 45 strategies that you could end up doing. If you haven't got enough time, this book will save you a whole bunch of time every week, guaranteed. If you don't know really why you're doing what you're doing, this book will help you find your reason why. And lastly, if your business is in a bit of a mess right now, this book will allow you to use the five key attributes of building any business to make sure that your business succeeds when others don't. We have tons of offers for if you buy more than one book. Click on the link below to find out more. Thanks for watching. No. You're not even right, mate. No. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, favourite app is Trade Line. Ooh, favourite app. You can That's say a LinkedIn. Good question. Right? No, well, right? I should say LinkedIn, but <laughs> actually, I really like an app that helps me with tracking my daily habits because I think consistency in habits. So I use an app called Strides App. And that helps me um, be consistent with my daily actions, whether it be life, health, business, everything that you could possibly. Wow. Yeah, so Strides app, that would be probably my favourite one. I love one. it. A cup of tea? Cup of tea. Favourite tip on our drink? Uh, <laughs> I'm partial to a few. Uh, I'd say a little uh, gin and tonic. Gin yeah, and a little Tanqueray and tonic. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> Anyone, literally anybody and anyone, they don't have to be famous or anything. Anybody who inspires me, I look up to them, really. But I wouldn't say I follow anybody in particular. Uh, I've got to say Richard Branson, because I, kind of, I do like him. Right. He's brought humour to a, to a big business. He definitely has. From a sales perspective, I... Grant Cardone, I'm a bit of a Grant Cardone yeah. fan. Nice. Um, I have him in my ear every day, kicking me. <laughs> um, yeah, 10x rule, absolutely. I'm definitely on a 10x run right now. Um, he would definitely inspire me a lot. Tony Robbins, classic. Um, and I'm a big fan of Andy Bounds, actually. Andy Bounds has uh, helped me a lot with communication and being a better presenter, um, helped me win some really big accounts. So uh, he's a fantastic guy, too. Awesome. I used to, but it hasn't happened for a long time. I was very sporty. I used to play um, hockey, centre forward. Wow. And I was sprinter, 100 meter sprinter, and I also have lots and lots of medals to show. Uh, wow. But yeah, that uh, stopped. Um, awesome. So I am looking for a new hobby. Awesome. I love it. Um, photography, because these guys are using cannons right now. We've been filming cannons, and I'm a, I've got three cannon bodies and all the lenses and the lighting and stuff. And, it's something I just don't get time to do. It's, yeah. it's wonderful. I love it. Yeah, awesome. it's really good. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, I don't get a lot of time to hobbies at the moment, but if I were to, I've always fancy playing the saxophone. That's a great one. Very difficult, but yes, I've one. heard. So I hope you enjoyed that scintillating interviews with some of the experts out in the field and was interested to find out some of the answers to the questions I posed. I'd like to thank you for spending another series with us at Property TV and I'd like to make a special shout out to some of the behind the scenes people that you don't always see, but we'll try and get some video of them lacking around somewhere in here. So let's first of all put a big shout out to Sebastian Gabor and wish him all the well and all the best, and also Ishvan Dragos, who has been an inspiration to me over this last series in keeping all of this stuff together and getting out there every week. And we will look forward to seeing you again very soon on another season, another episode, somewhere, someplace. Stay tuned, and remember, don't wait to buy property, buy property and wait.